An amazing day starts with an amazing morning. Today I'm sharing with you 10 healthy morning habits that changed my life, which could help change yours too. I'm starting out with the most important one. Start your day for yourself. Don't think about other things, especially the things that make you feel stressed and anxious. Use the mornings to pay attention to yourself and let this be a reminder that you are important and that you need to take care of yourself too. Take time to do something that you love in the morning. It can be as simple as drinking your coffee while listening to your favorite music, singing in the shower, dancing like no one's watching. For me personally, I love to check in on my plans and make an awesome breakfast. Anything that will make you feel good, do it. Like I said earlier, your morning should be about you. So do all your feel-good vibes. Now everyone else says this. Maybe it's for a good reason. Our bodies are made of 60% water, so it's important to rehydrate after a long night's sleep. Plus, it helps kickstart our metabolism for the day. Rushing in the morning has become such a norm in our society that we think that it's the best way to spend our mornings. But rushing strips us out from being more mindful in the morning. And we all know that rushing breeds disaster. We accidentally drop things, spill things, and make mess. And we just go on about our mornings like we want to get over it so quickly. Take it easy. If you need to wake up a little bit earlier, say 15 minutes, it will ease us out and help us become more mindful and become more present in the morning. Now you probably thought this was coming. Starting your day with a healthy and nourishing breakfast is going to increase your tendency to choose healthier meals throughout the day. It will also fuel your mind and your body with the necessary nutrients that it needs to function properly. Now, if you're someone who hates making breakfast or you just really need to rush out the door, there are lots of make-ahead breakfast ideas out there. And one of my favorites is overnight oats, which is actually the next video that I'm going to share next week. So make sure that you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on that. It's so easy for us to grab our phones first thing in the morning, checking notifications, emails, and scrolling away. And to be honest, I was very guilty of this too. I found myself feeling more groggy and even more sleepy after doing this. Also, if we start consuming things from our phone and from our social media, we let these things take control over how we're going to feel first thing in the morning. And now let's be honest here. There are things in our phones and in our social media that triggers negative emotions within us. And we don't want anything negative to start our day. Actually, when I started this YouTube channel, the first thing that I do in the morning is to check my subscribers, my views, and my analytics. And it usually makes me feel bad and unmotivated. So I stopped doing that and just focused on the more important things that I need to do. Which brings me to the next habit. Mornings are the best time to brainstorm ideas, visualize your dreams, and just be yourself. Because in the morning, we haven't consumed anything from our environment yet, so it's easier to become our most authentic selves. So this is the best time to create ideas, creating rather than consuming. So one important tip for you is to write these ideas down so that it will be easier to go back to them because who knows, one of those ideas might actually change your life for the better. Tuning into the senses is the simplest way that I can define mindfulness. It's simply focusing on what our senses are perceiving in the present moment. And I can't tell you enough how important it is to be more mindful in the morning. So I'm just gonna teach you a simple mindfulness exercise. So we are going to focus on what the senses are perceiving. First is the sense of sight. Focus on one or two things that you can see. I personally like looking at my plants for a few seconds each, just really looking at them and appreciating their beauty. Next is the sense of touch. Focus on one or two things that you can touch. Warm mug on hand, leg on the other. Then your sense of hearing, fan, 
birds chirping, then the sense of smell, scent of tea or coffee, and finally the sense of taste. This exercise is going to help you become more mindful in the morning instead of going on about it just like a robot. There's nothing more soothing than arriving in a clutter-free home. I actually learned this from my mother. She told me that she hates going home to a cluttered space. And right now that I'm living alone, I totally get it. So I always make sure to take a few minutes to tidy up a bit before I leave the house. I remove clutter from the surfaces, I wash the dishes, and just do anything that I can to keep the house clutter-free. This way, I can be sure that no matter how tired and stressed I am, I will go home to a clean space. I used to have a blaring and heart-thumping alarm tone to make sure that I wake up on time. But I found this very disturbing and really gives me a bad mood in the morning. So what I did was to substitute this to a more soothing music. Something that would gently wake me up. Not something that would startle me and make me jump out of bed. But if you're not a fan of soothing music, you can substitute that with your favorite song. Now a lot of people would say, don't hit that snooze button. But I still do, a couple of times. And I still feel great and have a pleasant and productive morning. So what I'm saying is, you don't really need to religiously follow every habit that I told you. Just pick one or two, or maybe more, that would give you the most pleasure and the most joy. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up because it warms my heart when you do. Subscribe if you haven't already. Overnight Oats recipes coming your way next week, so hit that notification bell so you get notified when that is out. Alright, so that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.